Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Tiffany from TV Butter. So today I wanted to do a setup video or what's in my traveler's notebook video. I just want to do a really quick flip through. Um, currently I'm using this one as my vacation planning journal and this one is my daily journal. So first of all, let's talk about my um, vacation planning journal. Uh, journal so currently I just have a little tag this leather tag is from Bongkuchen I hope I pronounced the name right I always mess it up and I have a little bookmarks here and there this one this one is from the Travelers factory um, and this too is from the Oppo Wild uh, bookmark they are so lovely and this one I actually had made by myself I still love them so much so let me open it up I hope the camera is focusing because it's really hard for me to see if it's focusing or not so when you open up this one actually is the first one that I've ever purchased um, I think I purchased this one like three three or four years ago probably um, I have a little plastic pocket um, in the corner this one is from Daiso and this one is the Traveler's Notebook pocket insert and first up I have so in here I have two sections the first section is this zipper pouch um, I just have the postcard from my friend and I have some post-it note and I use a clip to secure everything together at the back in this big slot I just have the writing board and at the back is the zipper pouch actually currently I just have a few notes notebook here so I can jot down the uh, my friends addresses my relative family's addresses so whenever I go on a vacation um, I want to send a letter or postcard I can I can um, get the references from the little fruit no notebook. I got this idea from Michelle from Seaweed Kisses. Thank you so much. So this one is my first insert. This one is a Traveler's Notebook insert. Um, so because basically you can see from the cover is one month book. I actually purchased this one from China so I got it uh, when I was in China last year and I haven't used it until now but it's undated so I can use it anytime so first of all is the monthly calendar and then you have your weekly this I just think it's pretty nice setup um, in an, of a notebook uh, especially you plan a lot if you're doing bullet journal this one is like perfect for bullet journal because you have the monthly weekly and also daily but i'm not doing bullet journal right now in my um in my in my notebook so this one i just jot down um, my vacation so it's in april i circle it out and i just jot down the start day and the end day of my vacation so i can plan it out later on okay the next one is this um is it focusing? Okay, so the next insert is this leather folio from Book Bon Kuchen as well. So this is the 1.61 um, Los Angeles. I think they still carry this brand. So if you want to purchase a, fo a leather folio, um, check their website. I will link it down below. And here I just put the map. This is the map that I downloaded from from the website. I also put the air ticket and hotel uh, reservation confirmation letter or whatever in here. And then at the back, I just have more um, introduction about the Yellowstone National Park. Um, so I just tuck it in here so um, we will know this national park a little bit more by wikipedia <laughs> and i just also include a little dry flowers just a little you know beautiful things uh so in here i will just do a quick flip through so first i jot down the airport and rental car um, all the information all the prices actually after i jot it down we have booked a ticket because we realized the ticket price won't be a lot, uh, won't be a huge differences so we just went ahead and booked the ticket and 
we just search about how to rent a car, how about foreign national driving in the US and how to insert a car uh, while we rent this car. So I just jot down all the information about renting a car and about the insurances. And I also jot down the, uh, the price of it. And then here is the weather and layers. Um, so I leave blank for a couple pages because I just I just feel like um, I can do this just right before our vacation because then we will know how cold it is, what is the real temperature, and how many clothes that we want to bring with us. Um, what's inside the hand carry, maybe we need a scarf, maybe we need a really thick jacket or coat. So um, I will fill this out later, just right before the trip. And then here is the adventure oh 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 part <laughs> because I'm super excited so I just went to um, I, I just went online and um, search what we can visit or where we can visit or what we can do so I have um, and I searched some plans uh, most of some of people they share their plan how they plan and where they stay what they eat and things they did in the national park so I just took a look of their plan and I just jot down um, some key keywords or um, places that I also want to visit so I just did a little planning for two days but actually we will be staying in the national park for seven days so we have way more time um, to spend in there so probably it will be a really chill vacation I'm so looking forward to it but anyway so this is day one um, so I just jot down all the places that I want to visit and then I just print out some pictures of that place um, like this one is the fountain paint pot and yeah this is a nice place I also stick uh, some some pictures in here and the old faithful of course and yeah other places Yellowstone Lake so I just jot down the notes for day one and I haven't started day two yet, but I will just keep doing this. Just um, download some pictures from website and just plan it, plan our, our day, how we spend the day. And here is just a little bit background information about the attraction or about the place. So I just jot it down like why they name it this and um, what we could do there, where we could stay and what we will be expecting to see um, at the place. So I jot it all down in here. Um, in case I want to visit one more time, I can go back in, I'll go back to this notebook and I can take a look of the information or, you know, when we get to the place, uh, we won't be like, oh, what is this? What's the name? So I've got all the information about different places. So this is my travel, traveling or travelers, no, it's just my travel planning. Uh, notebook or journals so so far I only have like two parts and they both have an insert and a folio or a zipper pouch so I can tuck in more tickets or tuck in more papers later on so this is this and the the other one is the olive edition um, so this one is my daily daily journal notebook so I have this I got this brass tag from Bakuchen Bunk as well and I also have the bookmark from the Opal the Opal Wild I don't know how to pronounce it if I pronounce it wrong please correct me in the comment and yeah let's just take a look I just love the leather so much I don't know it feels so different, but I love it. It's so soft and okay, whatever. Um, so when you open it up, um, I don't have anything on the cover here yet. I don't plan to uh, put any sticky uh, pocket in here because I already have a, a notebook or a journal with the sticky pocket. So this one probably I will just leave it blank because I just want to touch the leather. It's so soft. Am I weird? <laughs> 
Okay, first up is a, actually it's an insert. This is the Tokyo Station Edition as well. You know how much I obsessed with the Tokyo Station Edition. It's just so gorgeous. And then I have a zipper pouch and then I have this craft folder. And at the back, I just have another writing board from Traveler's Factory, Traveler's Company. Okay, anyway, let's take a quick flip through. So this one, I basically, because lately I've been so obsessed with watercolor. I know I uh, ramble a lot, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this video is gonna take too long. But anyway, I wanna share this experience with you. So I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos and I've been following a lot of greatest, not greatest, like great artists on Instagram. And I practice my watercolor, watercolor drawing basically every single day. So this notebook is for that purpose. I just want to do my watercolor practice in this notebook. As you can see, it's not even halfway, but it's so, so choppy already. Um, so probably later I will, I will talk about it later about how chunky it is and why it got so chunky and, and things like that. Um, but also I want to use this notebook to kind of like, like I said, first it's a watercolor practice notebook. And the other thing is I want to journal about how I feel about myself, feel about my, my relationship with watercolor and also some information classes that I took online to just, um, you know, to, to improve my watercolor. So I jot down all the information in this notebook and yeah, I love it. So let's take a look um, on the cover. I haven't have anything yet because I don't know what's, what's the right thing, you know, the perfect thing to put it in this little square. I haven't found it yet. So I just leave it blank. So this is my first entry. Actually, I have a um, learning with me video of how I paint those roses. I will link it um, on the right corner and also I will link it in the um, in, in down below in the description box. Make sure you check it out. Um, so yes, the reason why it got so chunky is because I drew my watercolor painting on a regular watercolor paper first. This is a handmade watercolor paper. I don't have it handy, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, that's why it got so chunky because every page I have an extra thicker watercolor paper on top of the, of the paper on top of the page. That's why it got so chunky, but I don't mind. I don't mind at all. I like how chunky it is. I like chunky stuff. Um, Sometimes I feel weird, like sometimes I prefer a really slim, really simple or um, minimalist notebook or journal, but right now I prefer a chunky one. So here we go, I have a chunky one. Um, so yeah, um, this is my first entry, just about um, the roses, how I paint roses, um, what's the background, history background of roses, and this one actually is a drawing. I just made the drawing, of course. I just made the drawing from a painter in, back in 14th century, actually is 1305 to 1340. So the artist drew this and I think it's just so gorgeous. Maybe I will link a picture like right here, the references picture. But yeah, I just think it's it's just so gorgeous. So I just um, jot it down. I mean, I draw it here in the corner, and I do a little bit more about like um, I just jot down information about rose, why they name rose, and where the name comes from, uh, where they like to grow, and how many colors they have. Just informations like that. Um, so yeah, this will be a study. Um, insert as well. So the first page is the rose study. So this is the second page and this one I will also link it down below. Um, this is a watercolor practice. I have the references from another artist and yeah I just love how she does the landscape painting so I just mimic that as well and I jot down some notes and quotes here and this is the color references. 
and this is my third entry I did another landscape painting but actually this one is I went to a park with my husband and I drew this and I love this painting so much because it's my first time to do something from a real landscape you know what I mean so those are the water test what color test and I also include a picture of the park in here in the corner and I journal a little bit and this is my fourth entry. I have the video of how I paint this. I will also link it down below and in the corner here. And I journal about uh, French Village and about how I feel about French Village and I dream my dream about French Village and things like that. So this is another uh, rose of uh, flower study painting. Okay, <laughs> sorry, uh, my husband interrupted me, so I had to pause. Anyway, so yeah, I will link the video down below. Um, the next page, oh, I guess I, I, I stopped in here. So this is uh, another practice of the flowers, and this is just a random lens landscape. And yeah, I just collage the page with tags, um, some dry flowers, um, wassail, and yeah, just random collage. And the next page is um, inspired by another, my favorite artist um, on YouTube. I couldn't pronounce his name, I'm so sorry. I will also link it down below. So all the artists that I've mentioned in this video or um, whichever pieces that I got inspired from, uh, inspired by them, I will link them all in, uh, down below in the description box. But anyway, I just made it another um, watercolor painting and yeah, I just um, journal about it and use more wax seal and some stamping and washi tape to decorate this page. I really love how, um, how simple it is and also it's really colorful and it's really functional for myself. I can still journal about it. I can jot down the notes. I'm sorry about the light. <laughs> so, um, some lights coming from the window over there, but yeah, we just move it a little bit. Um, but anyway, like I said, I always use an another piece of hammock watercolor paper. This one is kind of like a rough surfaces. Uh, maybe I will include this at the end of this video and share it with you guys. But I just couldn't remember the brand and everything, so I just feel like I don't have any information to share. Um, maybe when I uh, use all the watercolor paper, when I buy another another pad, I will share. I will uh, for sure keep the label and 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 the website and every info, uh, all the information for uh, for you guys. But anyway, I just love this building. I'll just give you guys a closer look. And yeah, the original one is way more, way better than mine. Um, but I just want to kind of like practice more about the shadowing and how I just love how he used different colors to do the shadowing. And I'm just forcing myself to, to practice more on that because shadowing is pretty hard for me. Um, so yeah, I just practice a little bit and yeah, let's move it forward. I have another watercolor. Like I said, the whole booklet will or be related with watercolor. So I'm so sorry about that if you get tired of um, seeing me do watercolor painting in this journal. But yeah, I just want to really do a flip through. And this one is a tree um, practice or tree study. I also have some stamping, washi tape, and wassail, and another label thing, and a journal, a little bit journal about the tree, about the day in the park. So yeah, I just, um, for this painting, I don't really have too much to say, I think. Um, I'm still really stuck at the shadowing, that's why it looks so dark in here. Um, but I kind of like this one. Um, I think I did the, the uh, shadowing and or the lighting uh, correctly on this one. And I love the color missing um, of this, this tree. Um, but yeah. The next one, next page is another flower practice. I don't like this one, but I like this too. And I just put a piece of fabric as, uh, at the back as the background. I think uh, the color looks pretty good. They match each, uh, they matches each other. And I also put more label, washi tape, and decoration on this page. 
and the next one oh by the way if you want uh, to see more like day-to-day -day watercolor practice please follow, follow me on Instagram I try my best to update or post a picture on my Instagram every single day so those are the colors that I use for this this painting and those are um, those paintings are were inspired by Rosie sketchbook on Instagram as well I will also link it down below um, so yeah, this one is just some um, sea plus the sky and the mountain and the clouds. And this one is uh, a cliff. No, it's a mountain. And I tried to draw a wave, but as you can see, it's, it, it's, it was a failure. I fell on doing that. But yeah, of course, I will keep practicing. That's why I still I don't I don't try to skip the bad bad part or try to skip the bad painting or bad sketches on my notebook because I think that is a progress. I have to put this painting in here just as a references. When next time I do the wave, those are the things I need to avoid. So this is the next one. I drew this uh, photograph. I will link the photographer down below. Um, so this one is kind of like a camping and mountain grasses and and sky um, painting. I really really love this one because one of my dream is go on camping one one time that I can see a lot of stars on the sky and there's no people around us and it's all um, mountains and animals and things like that but I haven't had the money and I haven't had the time yet but yeah that is one of my dreams so that's why I do this painting and I also journal about my dream my goal for the future so sometimes a painting can really reflect your your personal feelings your personal experience and your just some of your personal stuff um, I don't know how I could say it, but your painting should reflect what who you are, what you are doing, or whoever you want it to be, or um, what you want to improve inner of yourself. So I think um, drawing is just not a, just a painting, or just not it's just not a some color mixing together. It should be a piece of art that reflect yourself. So this is the next painting I did on the other day. It's just about a lake and grasses and mountains and sky as well. I have a little tag attached in here. I haven't um, stick it anywhere else yet because I just I got this tag and yeah I just want, I don't want to stick it in here because it's a painting and I just don't know where I can put it yet so I just put it in here. And I journal a little bit and I do some paper collage on the left. So I really like this page and also share on my Instagram make sure you check it out. So that's the last painting that I did uh, recently I mean yesterday. So today I will do another one um, which I will share on my Instagram as well. So that is the notebook that I have um, for the first part so as you can see it's pretty chunky already so that's why I only have one notebook and this is a zipper pouch this big pocket I just have a thank you card because we're going on a vacation very soon and I just have some this one I just got it from Hobonichi I don't know why I put it here but I just put it here and then at the back I have some washi, tam uh, washi tape sample and this is just a piece of card that came with the uh, this zipper pouch, this zipper pouch. So I just tuck it in here, and this is the craft folder. I just have something that I haven't used yet, but I want to use them. Some labels from uh, the packaging. So I just tuck it in here for future decoration. And on the other side, I just tuck in more um, standard size chocolate notebook with the color paper. I trim it down and make it in size like the similar size as the standard uh, travelers notebook and I just I can do it here and I tie it on the page and on this folder I have a pen loop um, and then I just have a random fountain pen attached in here so that's my on the go fountain pen and on the other side of the pouch I just have a lot of beaten pieces. Um, those just random papers and I do have a little note, little notepad that I got from my husband for Christmas. <laughs> and then at the end I just have a writing board. 
just put it at the end. So yeah, that's my current setup of these two travelers notebook and I will bring them with me on my vacation and I just super love these two. Um, this one is, is more like a planning planner. This one is totally like my sketchbook, my daily uh, drawing uh, journal. I love this one. I love this two so much. I love the letter. I love the color. So yeah, that's the end of this video. I don't want to make it too long, but yeah, I will see you in my next video soon. I hope you have a great day. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.